Welcome to another edition of Wisdom and Power for Life. Susie, your host. Today, we are going to talk about the mind of your man. Yeah, the mind of your man. How does the mind of a man function? How does the brain of a man function? Have you ever wondered why is it that you talk and it seems like he does not listen? Have you ever wondered what's going on on his head? And it's like it bugs you, this attitude. Have you ever wondered why it seems like he is forgetting so many things you have spoken about? Yeah, the mind, the brain of a man. Have you ever wondered why it seems like he is not noticing the messy around the house? The messy in the house, the things that are breaking down at home, the small things you worry about at home, he does not notice them. Even at times when you, you, you complaining about a, a thing, it's like he's not understanding you. Have you wondered why your man functions that way? Have you ever wondered why is it that he likes just lying on the couch with the remote control and focus on the TV screen? Have you ever wondered? <laughs> this is quite interesting. The mind of a man. The functionality of the brain of your man. He's an interesting man. A nice man. He's a good guy, but his attitude bugs you. You know, to be able to enjoy our relationships, it's very important to know how the mind of a man or how the mind of a woman functions. That is why I always say knowledge is the backbone to enjoying everything. To make most of our relationships, we need knowledge. So today, we are going to talk about the minds of our men. Yeah. We understand that there are hormones that influences the functionality of a man and a woman. And in a man, the brain is wired to function differently. They are hormones that flood our bodies. And this hormone influences us. And that aside, the man, even before birth, is wired to function differently. The brain of a male child is wired to function differently. And that is how they grow making these choices, even in adulthood. Isn't it interesting to learn this? <laughs> to understand your boy. Yeah, your man, I say. They have special skills. That is to say, you, there is a tendency of our male children, of your man loving mechanical work. The first thing we have to understand is that the brain of our men function differently. They are wired even before birth to function that way. So we shouldn't go trying to change men, but we should go trying to understand how they function and try to support them and partner with them. By so doing, they are going to develop to the person they are meant to be. We are there as women to back them and to support them. 
but it's done by understanding how they function and take them for who they are. The male brain is devoted much to spatial skills. This means when you put objects or activities, you organize activities, the male, your boy child, will go more for mechanical activities, for more complicated activities, for more work where he will put his brain into designing a thing. They like to manipulate objects. That is why you would find a man in the house so uh, serious in uh, fixing the house, the objects in the house, uh, setting the elect electricity in the house, trying to fix your, your chairs, trying to fix the broken things in the house, trying to put the equipment together. They are wired for mechanical work. So when you find your male child, your boy, going in for more handwork, his brain is wired to, to do that. So have no problem with that. Take him for who he is. We can't change them to female. We can't change them to do the things that we like to do. Women have their own story. <laughs> Yes, understand the mind of your man, support him, make him to feel like he has made the right choice and has the right partner who is supporting him. A partner is there to support. A partner is there to help the man come to his full potential and vice versa. Men love abstract things. Men love abstract things. They go for abstract things. Things that women don't find uh, funny, find too complicated. That is what they go for. Mechanical things. The mind of your man is wired for mechanicals. It's wired for, for manipulation of physical objects and secondly the male brain the brain of your man is wired for few words your man is a man of few words yes understand your man most at times we women what happens is we want to talk and we have only our man to do the talking with. And we find that he's like not so much interested in that. He's like listening at the same time we have the impression he's not listening. And he's not like participating a lot with much words. That is how he is wired to be. He is not just being a stubborn boy. He is not a stubborn man. He is wired to be like that. Men are wired for few words. There is a saying that goes, a woman is a dictionary while a man is a word. Yeah, the woman is a dictionary. The man is the word. Men are wired for few words. So don't bark your man when he feels like he doesn't want to talk now. Don't bark him. I'm not saying that he shouldn't talk. I'm just saying that we understand them. So that we shouldn't nag because men don't like nagging women. When we understand them, we will know how to relate with our men. And this will make the relationship fun. And we would know when to do what and not to do what. And it will bring peace and rest in the relationship. It will make the home a place to rest, a place to come and rest. 
you know because most at times what we women we do because we don't understand our men we nag and have you realized that nagging hasn't changed anything yet he is still who he is meant to be he, he can't change to become a woman so that aside our men are meant for few words though they are exceptions it is not the rule they are exceptions because nature loves to make exceptions there are also some men who speak a lot who are men of more words they are also like that they have some female hormones flowing in them in both a man and a woman there are this exchange of hormones there are some men more of the female hormone is flowing in them and also for women you will find some women behaving more like a man in a research that was carried out to scan the brain of a man it was found out that more living colors were to, were found in the brain of a woman than in the brain of a man and it was also found out that 15% of more blood was flowing in the brain of a woman than that of a man. And this explains why men are less emotional than women. Men are wired to show less emotions. Have you ever been in a situation where you, you could figure out the emotion of an individual and you kind of like tell your husband, that this person is sad and your husband is unable to fathom your opinion yeah he was unable to to see with you like how do you know that he is sad or she is sad where do you come up with that idea it was difficult for him to see the emotional part of that individual you were talking about there are certain things that women quickly see that men seem not to see because they are wired that way. Understand how your man functions and take him for who he is. Don't be bugged about his attitude, but relate with him by understanding and be knowledgeable of who he is. You can't change him. He is meant to be a man and to function how he is meant to function. Understand your boy. He's a nice guy. You just have to understand him. All right? <laughs> yeah. Most at times, the African women, we would say our men are less romantic. No, we now understand that they are wired to be like that. They are wired to, to be people who show less emotions. Because their brain is functioning that way. And we have to take it like that. And relate with them for who they are. And another thing is that you would be surprised that certain things that you spoke with him, he, had, he has forgotten again. And this box you. You're like, what kind of a man is this? I don't understand him. Why is it that the things that we spoke about, you've just forgotten again? Why is your man kind of like, not at times not being able to remember the things you talk about? It's because there is a part of the brain of a man that is called the hippocampus where memories are stored there is less going on in this hippocampus this this area of the brain where the memories are stored there is less going on for your man there but the woman is different so understand why you can talk with your man and he forgets again also understand why he is less emotional he is wired to be so and you can change this. He is not badly brought up. It's not because he has, he, he, he has learned that from his uh, upbringing. No, he is wired to be so. There is nothing you can do to change that.
we also understand that the male brain is tax focused and the male brain can focus only on one thing just as a woman is multi-tax we also have to understand that the male brain is meant to focus only on one thing when your man is focused on the thing don't be surprised that you distract him from that thing that he is focused on he will pay less attention to you because he can only deal with that thing at that time and at that moment so you have to understand how he functions that he can't fo focus on two things at the same time he wants to finish with what he is doing now and dealing with now before he goes for the next understand your man relate with your man and be supportive be there to complete him he is wonderfully and fearfully made just as nature would have it god would have it understand your man as far as focus is concerned the woman is multi-tax she can see and feel more than the man can do it has also been identified that there are much more uh, nerve connections in the brain of the woman than that of the man that is why a woman uses her brain to look for answers because she can see and feel more and the, the different connections in her brain enables her to do so she can access all these wires in her brain to come up with answers because she can see and feel more than the man does the man is just focused on a thing he puts things into compartments so that he can be able to deal with them putting things in order in compartments so that it, these compartments will be able to help him stay focused understand your man now you also would wonder why is it that when i'm talking to him i need his consent he is sitting on the couch i just focus on the screen with the remote control in his hand and i'm talking and he's just focused there there is a time that a man needs to rejuvenate he needs to gain back vitality and strength he needs to rejuvenate. This is the time that you would notice him wanting his space. You would notice him sitting in a position where he is just focused, might be on the TV screen. And it takes understanding to be able to leave him do that. Know that that's the time that he needs his own space. He needs to focus, to rejuvenate. He needs to rejuvenate, to gain back the strength he has spent during the day. And give him this space. During this time, you as the woman, you might want to have a conversation with him, but this wouldn't be the right time because he won't listen. Oh yeah, <laughs> he won't listen to you. And you would be bugged. You would be worried. And you would feel depressed. No. That is not the strategy. The strategy is. Understand. Timing. When is he available to talk to? When can I talk with my man? When can I have a conversation with my man? When is he needing his space? Let me give him his space. And while he is having his space, can I occupy myself with something else? Can I talk to a friend on phone? Just call a lovely friend and talk with him, with her on phone or with him on phone. Or can I occupy myself with some housework? Do something else while he is rejuvenating. Allow him his space to rejuvenate. To get back strength you can talk and open up all the banks of your dictionary he will be available for you i say he's a nice guy 
You just have to understand him. You might maybe uh, um, wait dinner time and then you bring up your conversation. You bring up your topic and you will enjoy him. Taking part in the conversation, listening to you, showing interest in what you're saying because the timing is right. Know your mind. Observe him. Understand him. Back him and support him. He's a nice guy. And there is no reason for nagging. Understanding. Knowledge is the solution. And wisdom on knowing the timing will help you enjoy your relationship. There is much to get in life and in a relationship. When you know your partner, oh God, there is nothing else as sweet in your relationship as when you give them their time. You give them their space. You understand them. I'm not saying that men shouldn't try to change and adapt. What I'm advocating here is that we understand how men function and allow them to function for who they are. Because they were all wired to be so. Though there are some exceptions, as I said. There are some exceptions. But we should observe our men. Give, allow them to be who they are. Give them the support they need and back them. And by so doing, they are going to enjoy their wives. They love you, though they might not show it. We have understood that they are less emotional. They show less emotion. And this is even too common among us, African, the African men and the African women. We understand that they show less emotions. That's how they are wired to be in their brain. So, when we understand them, we are going to make the most of our relationship with them. They are good guys. The moment they are devoted to their family, the moment they are hardworking, give them the space they need. Understand them and let them be who they are meant to be. And men, this is not an excuse to say you wouldn't talk because you are wired to be so. No. At times, give an ear. Make her to understand you, you're listening to her. Collaborate, support, be there for her. Even when it's difficult, break the boundaries and enjoy your wife. For who she is. She's a beautiful girl. Enjoy her. She's a baby. She needs to bond with you. She wants that bond. Because she's also wired for that bond. That's how her own brain to functions. Learn to understand your woman as well. We are going to come to the topic of understanding your wives. Understanding the way your girls function. Stay blessed.